now the first step is to add game to firewall now for this when you launch the game in the launcher uh, at the top you will see an option which says game settings go to game settings and over here you can see the option which says add game to firewall exception so click on it click on yes to allow and then now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work next step is to launch the game with default graphics settings now for this in the launcher just beside the play button you will see this down arrow click on it and then click on launch the game with default graphics settings and then check still not working in that case let me close the game still not working then in that case you can launch the launcher when you launch the launcher try launching the game in safe mode so click on the this down arrow once again and then click on launch the game in safe mode and then you can check still not working the next step is to let me close the game for now now the next step is to rename wargaming.net folder uh, let me inform you all the saved settings will be lost and you might also lose the save game files so the save game progress will be lost so create a backup first now for this um, make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder i'm sorry now uh, open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder um open the roaming folder and over here you can see wargaming.net folder create a backup copy this folder and maybe you can put, paste it to the desktop uh, once you have a backup created over here now once you have a backup created over here now you can rename this folder when you rename this folder the game will start from scratch and all the saved settings will be lost so if you agree you can do this rename it and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files uh, you can go to steam make a right click on the game go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and open this folder and then here you can see the game exc file make a double click launch the game from here and then check this will launch the launcher and then launch the game still not working open win64 and and over here also you will find the game exc file make a double click and then you can launch the game still not working you can go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on okay launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to properties this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on okay if that does not work you can even select windows 7 over here hit apply click on okay launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on okay now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes from here and then hit apply click on okay and then follow the next step now the next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browser apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the exe file over here and then click on open again click on add and allowed app browser apps open win 64 and then select the game exe file and then click on open and do the same thing in the control panel so open control panel uh, system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app and then click on browse go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on open click on add 
Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then open this Win64. Select this exe file, click on open, and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on search. The very top driver will be the latest graphic card driver. You can click on get download over here and then you can click on download now and run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, click on yes to allow and then click on OK. Click on agree and continue. Set a custom option, then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to uh, run the game run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings over here and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder open the game folder open win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list click on the game and then over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here Again, click on add desktop app and then go back, select the first exe file, click on add and find the game in the list. Now click on the game and then again you select high performance, you will see your graphic card. Now launch the game. Still not working. Try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. Now click on hardware and sound and then click on power options. Over here you will see power saver like this. So if you see power saver, select power saver and then launch the game. You can even go for balanced or high performance. But first of all, try power saver and then you can launch the game. Now the next step is to turn on or turn off hardware, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this type in open window settings, go to uh, system and then go to display and then go to graphics and then click on advanced graphics settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then launch the game. If this is already off, uh, if this is already on, turn it off and then check. So check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64 version, run both the exe file. So click on it, click on yes to allow. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, click on install, click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, click on install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both the files are installed. Once installed, restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to update windows now for this open windows settings go to privacy and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have any kind of uh, usb adapter or hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connect to the computer Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a racket on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, in that case, you can go to Nvidia app settings and then you can turn off this Nvidia overlay and close all the overlay application. If you have, first, uh, do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner. So if you have any third party services or application running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, 
uninstall the game after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel